Hey everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kristana. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button. If you're not new here, welcome back friends and family. First of all, I wanna say Happy New Year. It is now officially 2024, and I hope that you guys all had great holidays or whatever you did in the last few weeks, whether you did anything or you didn't do anything. So it's a little cluttered back here, right? Because I am in my garage and I decided that if I was gonna come back on YouTube, I'm gonna come back and do something awesome. So I bought this, if you can see it, let's get a little bit closer. I bought this, I bought this twin size bed frame. I do have the side slats, we'll probably try to use it. I actually don't even think this is a twin. This might be a single. And so what I wanna do is I wanna build a bench for this and I wanna be able to put it outside of my house. And so what I'm gonna do is show you guys how I'm going to build a bench out of this. We're gonna end up painting it and doing all the things with it. But my idea is if you guys didn't see the tour of my house, which I can put right here, we just moved back to the States after my husband retired from the Air Force and I live in a 250 year old farmhouse. And so I have this little cove to my, um, I have this little cove to my mudroom and my kids go outside and play all the time. And so I wanted it to kind of fit my house being kind of old and rustic farmhouse. And so I'm going to try to make this to where it's a compartment so my kids can lift it up and put their toys and stuff in it when they're done playing with it. That's the goal here, but you never know what's gonna happen. So, if you guys wanna see that, stay here. One of the things that I'm going to do is make sure that the sides of this storage bench are at the height that I want. So if you look at the front of this headboard, there is a little area that I want it to sit underneath, but right now that footboard is too high. So I am going to trim the legs of that footboard down so that way it fits underneath. But the first thing I'm going to do is measure how much distance is there from that headboard, from the top of that headboard to where that bottom part is that I want. And that way, once I measure it, I know exactly how much to cut off of the legs. Okay, so I'm going to mark from the bottom of the legs the distance that I wanted to take off and I think it was two and a half inches so I'm just going to use a pencil and I'm going to mark that or maybe it was three right just under three inches so I'm going to mark that with a pencil and then I'm going to take a circular saw and I'm going to cut it now the width of these legs is a little bit bigger than what my saw blade will cut and you can kind of see that here and so I'm going to cut it then I will take a piece of tape and remeasure and flip this headboard or the footboard rather, sorry, over. And then I'm going to cut the rest of it off. Now you can see that the footboard is below that area that I wanted it. And so that way when I cut it in half, the sides are gonna sit just snug underneath there. So the next thing to do is decide how wide do I want the sides? And so normally with these, I just cut them straight down the center and in half. And then, you know, one side becomes one side and one comes becomes the other side. This one's gonna be a little bit deeper than typical, but that's okay because I want to be able to put a lot of the things in there like my kids balls and you know their gloves and whatever so I'm okay with it being slightly deeper than your typical bench Once I have measured where I want to cut it, I take my circular saw again and I cut this footboard in half. There are a little bit, it's not completely straight, so you definitely want to make sure that you're taking your saw and you're kind of following the curves and the cracks and crevices of this piece. The top of this footboard is fairly thick, so I'm going to cut all the way through, 
Then I'm going to go on the other side of this footboard and cut again from the top of the footboard in and then I'm going to flip it over because it's thicker and it doesn't go all the way through the first cut and then we will have cut this in half. This is the area where the slats or the side slats will go into the footboard and headboard but you can see it right here and I don't want to be able to see it once I go over this and paint it and design it and so I'm going to take some Bondo and I'm going to fill those areas with Bondo so that way it's done now instead of trying to do it later once I have the bench built. I wait for this to completely dry and then I'm going to sand it down with my 3x4 electric ray and I want to show you a little trick here. Sometimes you do get a little bit of dust and I don't need to push down on the thing. I just take the sander by itself without pushing down and it's already attached to the vacuum and I just vacuum up that dust. It's actually pretty cool. So the next part that I am going to do is I'm going to assemble everything. And so I am taking an L bracket and I'm going to take the bottom from the, you can see right here, this is the bottom of the headboard and I'm going to attach the headboard and footboard. But first I'm going to put a level, make sure that it's level where it's at, attach that bottom bracket. And then I'm going to attach a top bracket. The top bracket I will probably end up taking out later because I'm going to build a frame on the bottom of the piece for everything to go together. But I am going to do this so that everything is together and I can start assembling this bench and put Before you go any further you want to make sure you put a level going across both of the sides and make sure everything is level you can see right here it is and then the next thing I'm going to do is take the side rails and I'm going to build the front of it I wanted to use every single piece of this bed the footboard the headboard the side rail so I'm going to take these little pieces out that hook the side rails into the headboard and footboard there are little metal pegs that go into the wood that are holding it in place. So I'm just taking a mallet and seeing if I can push them out from the other side. If they don't come out easily, then what we're going to do, you can sometimes pull them out with your fingernails. You can see me kind of pulling them out. But if they don't come out easily, this is a little magnet that I got from Harbor Freight. And you're going to carefully push on the little metal and pull it out. Sometimes it's harder, so you just have to be patient. 
and kind of work the magnet across the piece of metal and eventually you'll be able to pull it out and then you can just take those little metal brackets out you just pull them straight out and then they are good to go you can use this however you want I'm going to measure the side rail and cut it so that way I can use it for the front of this piece. I do remove that little trim on the other one and add it to the left side as well. So it's on the right side already and then I take it off the left side and I attach it on there. You'll see what I'm talking about. But the bottom of the front of this is going to have that trim on the left and the right. And then what I do is I take my circular saw and I cut this and then I'm going to start attaching this to the little side slats that used to be the footboard. Okay, so now I have it setting down and it's where I want it to be. So I'm going to take a Craig jig drill bit and I'm going to do a pocket hole. And what I'm going to do after that is take a Craig screw and put it in there and just drill it right in. And you see how I said on the bottom on the left and right, it has those trim pieces. So I'm just screwing these into the sideboards and that way we are starting to assemble our bench. What I do is I take the other side rail and I flip it upside down and I put it on top of this one and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw them into one another. There is this little lip right here which has made it easier and I'm going to screw them together on the inside. So you see how I have built this bench and then what I'm going to do is take a piece of Luan and I'm going to set that in that inset so you can see right here when my kids throw their balls in there it'll be there. I'm going to take L brackets on a one by two and I am going to put these in the back of the piece. This is going to act as basically the anchor for the lid that is going to flip up. So now I have, so I measured the one by two and now I'm putting that L bracket in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a continuous hinge, which you can see right here, and I'm going to attach the continuous hinge to the part of the, the lid that's going to come up and then it's going to attach to there. But we won't do that until we cut the other part of the lid. So I'm just taking a pine board, it's pre-glued. I measured everything to where it needs to be. I am using a construction tee. I'm going to cut this with a circular saw. Once I'm done cutting it to fit, I am using this continuous hinge. And if you can see, I have it flipped over at a 90 degree. We're gonna do that first. And then I'm going to fit it to that one by two and I'm going to screw that other side that's flipped over right now into that one by two. So then it creates a lid that you can open and close. What you're going to see here is you're going to see that the lid is pretty tight. I want to make a second video, so this is part one. I'm going to make a second video of how I do all the finishing work, how I paint. So this is just strictly for the build. My storage bench is built and now we have to do finishing and that is going to be part two that will be coming up this week. So happy creating guys. I hope you enjoyed this and stick with me for part two.